High up on the rooftop of the world, winds of change are blowing. For centuries now, the Himalayan Buddhists have believed in the rebirth of their spiritual leaders. Great saints born again as young children to lead the rest of us to enlightenment. But in the tiny kingdom of Bhutan, one of the world's last bastions of Tibetan Buddhism, something is amiss. Suddenly, it seems, there are one too many born-again Buddhists. A surplus of born-again monks that threatens to change the rules of reincarnation. Reincarnation beliefs are so much a part of life in the Himalayas, even the cultural entertainment revolves around the cycle of life. In Bhutan's best-loved reincarnation tale, the Raksha Mancham, it is Judgment Day, and the Lord of Death has come. The dead hunter brought before him will be judged according to the sum of his good and bad deeds. It is this karma that determines the quality of his next rebirth. Although I was a Buddhist, you know, I think I used to be a hunter, I used to be a fisherman, I used to smoke, I used to be a chain smoker. So I'm not sure why this particular child chose to be born in my family. Maybe he has come here to stop me committing any more sins, maybe, I don't know. Unfazed by the country's truku debate, the Kandu family is on a pilgrimage to the Tiger's Nest, Bhutan's holiest monastery. They're hoping the journey will bless Tenzing's passage into Trukuhood. Have you been to Taksim before? No. Today is the first time, huh? Yeah. It may be Tenzing's first visit, but he could well have walked this way before. The late chief abbot, J. Giddin Rinchen, was born in a cave, or Jaku, en route to the hallowed monastery. I think I will pray to my Jaku, then I will go in, in Jaku. Uh, 